ahead, boys and girls, before we get started on our seasons project, we should practice how to draw trees. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly a simple way to draw a tree with lots of branches and feel free to practice until you feel comfortable. Okay, so I have my whiteboard with my marker. You wanna grab a pencil. Okay, so one way to draw a tree is just to start on the bottom and then curve out just like that. And then dip down, make a diagonal line this way, and then bring it all the way down just like that. So you wanna think of your branches like they are triangles. So they are widest at the base and they are smallest at the tip. Widest right here, smallest out here in the tip. And this is just the beginning. You can make as many branches as you want and you wanna make at least five. So you can make them nice and long. I like to do a lot of like curvy branches. So a lot of my branches, they end up looking kind of like a V. And it's really good for your branches to also not look completely perfect either. So don't be afraid to add in additional lines, additional branches, have them go in lots of different ways. Maybe I'll add another one here. You can make your branches nice and long. And you can always make them longer too. All right, so once you're happy with your tree, another thing I like to do is I like to add in texture so lines to show the bark i'm actually going to erase that yeah maybe that's a little too much okay all right so after you're done with the base of your tree you can start to think about okay what season do i want to do all right and if you are doing a winter tree you can just leave your tree as is if it is a deciduous tree then they are bare in the winter because they lose their leaves in order to survive winter. So you can leave your tree as is if it's winter time. You could always add like snow falling from the sky. And then add in a nice fluffy ground of snow. So that is a winter tree. For your fall tree, you just start off the same way as if you drew your winter tree, but you wanna add in some of your leaves. So you can just have fun with all the different leaves that you add. You can just add them all over your tree. And the trick is you want to use the right colors. So you want to use the colors of autumn. So your warm colors such as red, yellow, and orange. And you can also use light green. but definitely those warm colors. So I'm gonna go in with my orange, yellow. I have red right here. And maybe I might make some of them green, we'll see. <laughs> Try to spread it out. You don't wanna make all of your leaves one color. So 
those are all of my leaves. I'm also going to color in my tree. So with your tree, maybe you can stifle with lines to add that texture. Or you can always color with the back of your crayon. Just remember some of those crayon techniques that we learned about. Feel free to use any of them. I think the one I like the most with the trees is um, when I color a little bit darker on the edges, but then lightly on the inside. That way I get kind of a change of color value without switching crayons or anything like that. And then the next thing you can do is you can have some of your leaves falling. They can be different sizes. And you can always have a pile of leaves too at the bottom. But it's definitely a good idea to draw on your leaves with your pencil. Or you can always just draw it with your crayon. It doesn't just have to be with a pencil. Okay, and then after that you are done with your fall tree.